good day, welcome to Heaven. My name is Heather Phillips, President and CEO of Heavenly Cigar Company. I'm uh, mostly known for the Heaven Cigars, which are primarily a, a regular flavored, anything from vanilla to mojito to cognac, chocolate. We have 14 flavors in the Heaven Cigar. However, I've finally been able to uh, relaunch a couple of ideas. Uh, one of them I'm going to talk about right now is Tantra, which uh, is an exotic, organically uh, infused oil. So it's all natural uh, oils that are organic, and it is an infused process that has um, everything from exotic wildflowers. This is what's in the raw blend, for example, at this show. I have 12 uh, different infusions that I'm going to release over the course of the next probably two to three years. But uh, right now we have two that we've released, which is the raw right here, and then the trance. The raw is a, uh, the raw here is a, an infusion of multiple wildflowers. Don't film my white legs or I will steal the camera. <laughs> Anyhow, the raw is an infusion of uh, wildflowers and it's very, uh, very unique. You just have to taste it and try it. The trance is uh, an exotic herbal blend of different herbal oils and its strongest note is the night jasmine. So that's what those two are and uh, they're being received very, very well. Um, we're going to start shipping the first week of September and it's a phenomenal cigar. The price point's what's excellent about it. They're so retailing anywhere between three and six dollars. So that's really, really good in the market right now. I also have a natural line that's being released over here if you would like to follow me this way. This is my uh, personal baby here. And actually a person who can really tell you a whole lot more. I mean, I know about it was my idea. It's my uh, brother here over at the project manager, but he's busy. We have uh, Red Lion, which was actually been around for about 13 or 14 years. When we started in the business, I was a cocktail waitress at a cigar bar. Make a long story short, I used to dream about the type of cigar I would blend at the time. I never meant to get into flavors, I just knew that the market, market needed flavors. So my original passion was natural cigars. So at the time I had said I want to make the biggest, baddest cigar, you know, all of this and different wrappers. So hence the Red Lion was born, and it was born on August 12th, about 13 years ago, which is my birthday being Red Hair and a Leo which is my birthday tomorrow. If any of you would like to send me birthday presents, that's just fine. I'll give you my address later. However, the Red Lion is, uh, uh, became famous because it was the original Toro, 6x60. It was the original uh, cigar that, that was the fattest ring gauge that ever was launched on the market. And it is available now. We've reblended it, reboxed it, repackaged it. Um, we did the, the bands. And it's got an Ecuadorian Habano Rosado wrapper which has a little bit of a kick, a little spicy. It's rich, but it's got that little fire kick to it. Uh, it's a five country blend, so it's got Nicaraguan, Hunter, and a little bit of Dominican tobacco. The Maduro line is the same blend, however, it's got the Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. That's my personal favorite. It's rich, it's bold, but it's a smooth, creamy finish. Some Maduros are bitter, and I, I don't care for that. This is uh, really packs a punch. Uh, you just gotta smoke it to try it. And um, I, I love it. I like the fatter ring gauges because they, they draw better. You get a better feel for the, for the taste in the back of your palate. And um, I'm just totally thrilled that I've relaunched this. I don't know what took me so long, but it's a great cigar as well. And it retails, um, depending on the size, between four and eight dollars. So go and smoke one. You'll love it. Now, any thoughts on the uh, the whole FDA takeover of regulation of tobacco in terms of you know the flavors, the infusion, that sort of thing? Yeah, I could probably stand here an hour and talk to you about that, but quite frankly, my thoughts are I'm tired of stressing out about it, and I'm being proactive about it. I've even switched all my manufacturing into a free zone right now and tweaked my flavors to an FDA regulated level. So I'm also being proactive in the sense of renaming and whatever else they're going to try to to do to put us out of business, but that's not going to happen. So um, quite frankly, I'm tired of stressing out about it and I'm just doing everything I can to be proactive about it. And when that day comes, we'll deal with it. If, if uh, the worst
worst case scenario occurs, which I don't think, you know, there's always a way around things. So that's why we're being as proactive as we can well, about it. The red line, which, of course, yeah. yeah, and I have two other. Heaven was a a born originally a natural line. You know, I had my, well, I can't tell you the names, but it was perfect. So we had two two blends of, of the Heaven Cigar Natural. So I'll be relaunching that as well, too, after we get the red lion off the ground. Excellent. So. Great. Thanks for uh, taking some time out to uh, well, thank you very much. show us the rounds. Make sure you edit some of that bad stuff earlier. It'll go right to the end. The, the